I would like to uh, do a small, not to uh, to do a thing according to my small um, ability, which is to recite the Heart Sutra uh, in English. I dedicate it to uh, the well-being of all my family, especially my sister, who is now in the hospital for jaw surgery. She was the first person who taught me how to ride a bicycle. And we too had great fun learning how to ride a bicycle uh, when I was at the age of four or five. The Heart of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutra in Sanskrit, uh, Aya Bhagavati Pratna Paramita Ridaya Sutra. The Sutta he at one time, uh, the Bhagavan was dwelling on Master Vulture's mountain in Rajagriha together with a great community of monks and a great community of Bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also, at that time, the Bodhisattva, Masattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as an empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of the Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra, said this to the Bodhisattva Masattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, How should any son of the lineage chain who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Masattva Arya Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Sarya Vajibhucha, Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the profound perfection, the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty, emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without sin, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness, there's no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no composition, no factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no, no color, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There's no eye element and so on up to and including no mind element and no mental conscious element. There's no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance and so on up to and including no aging and death and uh, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there's no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There's also no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there's no attainment, Bodhisattva rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of Nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwelling in the three times also manifestly completely awakened to the unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of the great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequal, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all sufferings, should be known as truth since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Shariputra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commanded the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya Avalokiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage, it is like that, it is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom just as you have indicated, even the Tathagata rejoice. The Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharavati Puja, those surrounding in the entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, asuras, and Gandavas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. That's the end of the Heart Sutra. Thank you for listening.